on there. I've turned my video screen off uh, because it is simply too distracting. Um, however, here is Ma Bell. Yo, Ma. Say, say hello. Hi, everybody. I'm petrified, but I guess I'll get a present. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell them where you are, where you're from. Oh, I'm from eastern Long Island, out on the tip of Long Island near Montauk Point. And uh, coming to Nevada is so, it's so different here. Oh, yes. I do want to thank everybody for the avalanche of faxes which have been pouring in. And I wish I could thank you all personally, but um, it's wonderful to know how much you love art. And it's hard for me to call him art, and if I want to, I'll call him Trey, you'll understand. That's for the hour, go ahead and call me Trey, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's doesn't more natural for me to call you Trey. Why was I named Trey, by the way? Well, he was the third Arthur William Bell. Right. Uh, and it's just a, a way of saying that, I guess. In French, it's, 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 it's no, derivation I, French, no? No, I think it has to do with cards, playing cards. Right. Ace, deuce, tray. Ah. <laughs> See, I don't even know that about myself. Yeah. All right. Well, what I would like you to do, um, if, if, by the way, it's good not to be in Long Island right now. I've, I've seen the weather. I am now. absolutely delighted to be away from Long Island at this point. I doubt if I could even get out my driveway. <laughs> All right, I would like to subject you to an hour of questions uh, from the audience. So any of you out there who would like to ask my mom a question about me, now have that opportunity. Um, as you can see, when we do shows, we do about different shows every night. It's absolutely incredible. Let's give it a try. Let's see what we get. Who knows? West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello, Ma Bell. Hi. But what's your son's favorite meal that he cooked? <laughs> That's easy. He loves very plain food, things like hamburgers and... I just spaghetti. had a hamburger tonight. Pardon? I just had a hamburger tonight. We had spaghetti. Oh, uh, spaghetti. He said he got sick that one day from the spaghetti. No, oh. no, 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 that's not true. Um, thank you very much. No, I didn't get sick from spaghetti. I got sick from a sandwich that came from an unnamed restaurant. I won't name the restaurant. Uh, it was barbecued beef. And I got sick after I ate some spaghetti, but the, the, the spaghetti was down for about five minutes before I got sick. Uh, it came from hours earlier, and uh, so there you are. Uh, first time caller line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Hi, <clears throat> Hi there. Hi I'm there. your brother now, remember? Uh, turn your radio off, sir. Yep. Okay, well, I didn't know it was on. Turn your radio off, please. Okay, right. All right, thanks. Okay, well. Um, yeah, I know. Now, after all that aggravation... What aggravation? Uh, Patrick wants to talk to you. Who's Patrick? Huh? Who is Patrick? My middle son. Or... Who's the son? Huh? I think he's, uh, like a ghostly figure. I don't know. I just think on medication. All right, I, I think you're both on medication. <laughs> uh, wild card line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Hello there. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Good morning. Oh, hello, Ma Bell. Hi. Oh, you sound like such a sweetheart. I just want to say hi, thank and you. I really love your son, show, and I think it must have been really amazing growing up with him or have him grown up with you. It certainly was. It was quite an experience. <laughs> uh, what do you think of his uh, UFO encounter? Well, I think the whole thing about UFOs is fascinating, and I don't know much about it except what I hear him talking about, but I believe in them. Uh, I believe in them, too, and uh, I just want to say hello to Phil and uh, Paul also. And all right, have a wonderful night, and I love your show. All right, take care, my friend. Um, east of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Where are you calling from, please? This is Tim from Denver, KL Country. Hey, Tim. Uh, good morning, Ma Bell. Hi, Tim. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I think your son is delightful, and I'm sure he gets it from somewhere. So uh, <laughs> even though I don't know you, I know where he, he gets all of his politeness and his uh, intelligence and uh, uh, his uh, great rapport with the audience. Well, that's very sweet of you. Uh, my question, first of all, do you get to listen to your son uh, uh, in New York? Every single night. Uh, I have a chihuahua, uh -huh. and 
I was recently widowed, so the Chihuahua is now my companion, and we listen to him all night, share a snack in the middle of the night, but if I can't listen to him, then I turn on my real talk, which takes the best of the show. Oh, I see. Terrific. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, but I log in for my sponsor. That's great, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Sue and Bob Crane. <laughs> What I was going to say is, if after this hour here that you spent with us, if you enjoy it, I was wondering if you were going to uh, uh, maybe fall into David Letterman's mom's footsteps and do some remote reports from around the country uh, as she's covered uh, the World Series for Dave on his show and things. I just thought that might be something you would... Uh, yeah, actually, Letterman, Letterman has made a uh, kind of a star out of his mom, hasn't he? He sure has. I don't think I'm in that uh, category. category. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's great to hear you. Uh, I'm glad that you get to listen to your son. I wish you a long life and happiness. Thank you. Thank uh, you. All right. Uh, do you care to tell them how old you are? No. No? Okay. <laughs> all right. First time caller line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Good morning. Good morning to you. Where are you, sir? I'm in Idaho. This is Peter. How are you? Okay, Peter, speak up good and loud. You're a little hard to hear. Yeah, okay. I got a question for you, Mrs. Bell. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. What's the question? Uh, does Art have any brothers or sisters? Oh, good yes. question. Yes, he has two sisters, one in Oakland, uh, California, and one in West Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, he was a terrible tease with them when they were growing up. Well, there were pains in the neck. They were growing up. Well, they have a good relationship now that they're all adults. Well, right, but um, yeah. I was see, I was the oldest, and I think it's it's the hardest for the oldest. I do too. Yeah, because it's like I had to break you in for everything, and then they they slid right into your honey. <laughs> all right, uh, west of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hi. Hello there. Goodbye. First time caller line. You're on the air with Ma Bell. Well, good morning, Art. Good morning, Mrs. Bell. How are you? Fine, thank you. Where are you, sir? I'm in Chandler, Arizona. Chandler. All right. Um, so I'm looking at her picture in your book right now. Very attractive woman. Thank you. I wanted to say that, and I'm sure you're still just as attractive. So I was wondering, uh, was Art uh, interested in the uh, type of thing that he's interested in now, you know, what his show is all about when he was a young, younger child? In other words, radio? Oh, just the, the topics you talk about, just in general. Oh, okay. You know, everything like that. All right, all right. It's a good question. Um, was I? Well, he's always been interested in radio, and uh, a ham radio operator is no. Um, My tour a part a bunch of your appliances, didn't I? What did you say? I, I tore apart a bunch of your appliances, electrical appliances, when I was young. Oh, yes, when he was about three years old, maybe even younger, he... Uh, really began early, huh? He cut, he cut the cord off my, the plug off my toaster. I needed it. Because he needed it for one of his electrical. He had taken a cardboard box and plugged it into the... Because <laughs> he was just a baby, but uh, that was an, sort of a... A signal of things to come, I think. Probably lucky I lived through that, huh? Right, Didn't although it wasn't myself. plugged in at the time, fortunately. I want to you, so there's something you don't know. Or maybe you do know it. I don't know if I put it in the book or not. I think I did, and I was afraid to. I, um, when I was very young, uh, and I was experimenting with electricity, um, I got Tina to help me. Tina's my older sister. And we wired Barbara into an electric chair. That's in the book, I think. Yeah, is that in the book? I think so, yes. <laughs> uh, it's well that you didn't find out about that until I wrote the book. I it think. certainly is. Now, but we were going to plug her into the wall. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty awful. East of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Hi, I'm calling from Muskegon, Michigan. Muskegon, all right. Yeah, my name is Dee. It is very cold here, and I just wanted to say hi to Ma Bell. And I wanted to ask if she was planning on going on the trip with you. No, no, I'm not. Is it B, did you say? D. 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 Oh, hi, D. Uh, no, I'm not planning on going on the trip, but I think they're going to have a wonderful time. And I do think uh, Trey is planning to take his son with him, which is going to be a first and a wonderful experience for a young man. Actually, she uh, she went on the cruise um, that, uh, that I'm about to go on. 
some time ago, didn't you? Roughly that cruise. You've been over yes. in that area. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And you would recommend that for um, a trip to bring children on? Well, oh, I, I think yeah. I'll let... Yes, I think any traveling is wonderful for youngsters. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, oh, yes, uh, you know, he's 14 now, and uh, I think he's ready for that kind of an experience. It's very broadening to travel, very broadening to travel, and um, he'll come back a changed young man. East of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell, top of the morning. Where are you, please? I am in Stubbsville, St. Cloud, Minnesota. St. Cloud, Minnesota. Hey, how cold is it? It's, uh, well, last night it was 35 below, and tonight it's uh, moving towards that, too. We've got record, uh, record cold weather all through Minnesota tonight. They showed a picture of a guy throwing uh, hot water into the air, which came down as ice crystals. That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> and it, there, there was another man who uh, uh, opened or had a um, uh, can of pop that was out for just a few minutes, and when he opened it up, it was frozen solid. Oh, my gosh. So that's Well, anyway, you're on the air with my mom. Do you have a question for my mom? It's a one-time opportunity here. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi. I, I just love hearing you, and it's so nice to have you visiting with us. And I have been thinking about you and have been concerned. Have you, uh, I'm sure you're aware of the um, predictions that Gordon Michael Stallion has made for Long Island. Uh, I have heard that it's a possibility that Long Island might not be there sometime, but I don't like to dwell on the thought. Uh, are you planning to stay there, or are you planning to maybe move back and be close to the trade? Well, of course, that would be wonderful, but my home is on Long Island, and my roots are sort of there. And, um, I think almost anywhere you live in this country, there are, you know, there are scary things. Things to worry about. Yeah, things yeah. to worry about. Yeah. And uh, as we speak, by the way, Long Island's getting clobbered, so... Uh, in fact, the whole Northeast is. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I think Brokaw was right tonight. They're running out of words to describe this winter. Now, you've been through a lot of winters, right? I mean, you lived in the Northeast all your life. Right. I abandoned the Northeast, as you know, as soon as I could. Well, I know you love <laughs> warm weather, and I don't blame I do, you. yes. And uh, so, um, is, this, uh, is this winter substantially worse than others you've seen? Do you think the weather's changing? Put you on the spot here. I think I think what you talk about the quickening is here. I mean, I think the weather is weird all over the country. It's uh, the floods, the, the fires, the um, the snow, the blizzards. We went through a blizzard just First place, recently. All of it. Yeah. Oh, it's scary. It is scary. All right, the two of us will be back in just a moment. Stay right there. Well, for about five minutes to the bottom of the hour, uh, to Ma Bell and your questions. It's actually my mom. She's here in the desert with me, all the way from frigid, snow-locked Long Island, New York. All right, uh, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Where are you calling from, please? Medford, Oregon. All right. It's Trish. Hello, Trish. <laughs> um, I was just wondering, Ma Bell, what station do you hear are on in New York? My friend is there, and he can't hear it at all anywhere. Well, I've been listening currently to Rochester, which I think is called uh, WHAM in Rochester, yes. Yes, uh, yes. Um, and you can't get that either. It's, it's odd. Well, she has it, so. I have that wonderful Fangian radio that Trey gave me, and ah. uh, that and the selected tenor together uh, bring it in very well. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, plus, we're about to come on in uh, Hamden. We're, we're on WAVZ, and we're coming on WELI yeah, shortly, right. which is uh, very clear and very strong and very close. So. Right across the sound from Connecticut. So W-E-L-I? Yes, uh-huh. And what else? And, well, we were on WAVZ, but we're moving over to WELI. Oh. So that's, that's the answer to your question. Okay, well, thanks. All right, thank you. Uh, wild Card Line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hi. What's the most trouble Ark ever got into? That's a good question, actually. Uh, what is the most trouble I ever got into? I remember selling 22s in school. I didn't even know about that. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, I, I took a bunch of 22s in school. You know, I had a 22. You remember Dad gave me a 22? Well, I remember the 22 that you shot up all the neighborhood mailboxes. Today. That was a BB gun. 
Oh, oh well, I don't know the difference anyway. Well, the difference is a hole as opposed to a big dent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I did. Uh, I was always into guns. As a youngster, I uh, I guess I got my first gun. Did I get my first gun about 12? I think yeah. so. And you had to campaign for a long time before your father would let you have it. And now I'm still into guns, but I've learned a lot. All right, um, east of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Hi, Ma Bell. Hi. Um, this is Paul Al from San Marcos, Texas. How do you do? Listen to the mighty WOAI. Big station, yes, indeed. Yeah, very big. And I wanted to know, um, how was it? Uh, did you ever expect Art being as big as he is? <laughs> when you say as big, you mean physically or in radio? Well, in radio. <laughs> Uh, well, he is physically tall, too, but, uh, no, I didn't. I, I didn't realize the great potential he had, and I'm so proud of him, I can't tell you. Ma'am, for your information, caller, I didn't expect it either. Well, you turned out to be a great success. Um, it's true. We're doing very well, and, um, I, I have a lot of people to thank for that. I guess the one right next to me, uh, more than any other. Thank you. Here, thank you. All right. Uh, we're a little short on time here to the bottom of the hour. First time caller line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Uh, hi, Ma Bell. Hi. Where are you? I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska. All right. Ooh, ooh, cold, I bet. 21 below. Oh, my God. It's a record. <laughs> Really cool. It's really exciting to talk to people all over the country. I, I mean, to be talking to Nebraska is Amazing, really huh? great. <laughs> I know, I feel the same way. Hey, listen, hon, we're coming up on the bottom of the hour. Can you hold over? You bet, I'd be glad to. All right, stay right, right where you are in cold, frigid Lincoln. The whole country's cold. Back with Ma Bell in a moment. This is CBC. <laughs> like having the internet on the radio. Peoria's talk... Oh, here again, Art Bell. Here again I am, along with Ma Bell, uh, who's here from uh, Long Island, New York. It's great to have my mom here, and it is your opportunity to ask her a question. I was really joking. You can ask her uh, anything you want. Um, we are continuing to um, say hello to people on video, and they're continuing to say hello to us, and it is working like a bandit. It seems so. Um, uh, back to it we go. Um, let's uh, let's see. Where shall we go? Um, wild card line. You're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Hi. Uh, I'm calling from Springfield, Illinois, home of a balmy negative 22 degrees. Oh mm. my goodness. I'm going to put on shorts and a tank top. <laughs> uh, two questions for you, if I could. Yeah. Um, Eric, as you probably are well aware. Obviously, has very, very interesting taste in music. And I'm wondering if you listen to a lot of music, and if so, what kind you like. Yeah. Also, I was curious when Art was a teenager, was he at all oh uh, popular with the ladies? <laughs> all right. Uh, both good questions. Music first. Okay. So far as music is concerned. Uh, I managed to uh, wheedle a copy of Cusco away from. Uh, Okay, a CD, which I'm planning to take home with me, and I'm taking home a brand new computer, which my son gave me, and I can play it on that as soon as I figure out, you know, the mechanics of it. So there you are. So uh, she's enjoying, I guess, the music, some of the bumper music. What kind of music yes. do you like otherwise? I like a lot of different kinds, uh, but, but like musical shows and uh, some classical music, kind of a potpourri. You, you know? like musicals? More like Broadway music. Sure. I hate them. <laughs> All right, and uh, when I was a teenager, he asked about the ladies. He was always very popular with the girls. Uh, I won't say that he always, but when he was younger, he didn't pay attention to them, but about the time he became Boy Scout, I think it was about the time he... he maybe it was the uniform. It was, it was Kathy Jarrett, actually. Well, Kathy was in Maryland. That's right. The first she's, girl. she's the first real serious heartthrob that I can recall. And I think one of these days, or one of these nights, rather, she's apt to get Call in someday. I, you know, I, I, I wonder how it would be to see Kathy after all those years. Maybe not good. Maybe I should... She should live on in my memory as she was at 12 or so. Uh, that could be. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, wild card line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Morning, Mr. Bell. How are you? Morning. I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, sir. Um, I don't know if I have any particular question for you, but what I did have was I just a thought um, that I was thinking about, you know, all the stuff, and you're talking about the clicking a lot and everything like that. Yes. And just like the, the kids that went off and shot them people and stuff like that. Up in uh, Washington. Right. Yes. Um, I was just thinking about that, and I was talking. I, I'm from Rock Falls, and I call in, and I talk about financial situations sometimes. Yes. And talking about, you know, finances collapsing and stuff like that. And I was talking to a lady about that. And she lived through, a dep through the Depression. And she said the only difference between now and then would be is everybody kill one another. Back then they helped one another out. All right. Well, it's a good, uh, it's a good point, actually. Um, during the Depression, people sacrificed. People made it. It was a lot harder than it is today for people, and yet people today are walking around shooting each other. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I think we're living in this very strange time. Oh, well, we are. Um, every newscast, every time you pick up a newspaper, uh, something horrible has happened, and uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's the quickening, I guess. What are your politics? So you describe me, I, I think I feel the same way as you do right down the line. We always have felt pretty much the same way. Not a, not a big Clinton fan? No. no. <laughs> uh, and if you were able to see her on TV when she said that, there was an expression that went with the no. Uh, west of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello? Goodbye. Wild card line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hi. Uh, no offense, this is your mother? Uh, no, it you know, absolutely is, yes. This is Charlie the Terrible. Hi, Charlie. Yeah, well, uh, your son's a moron, but here's the thing I don't, here's the thing I don't understand. <laughs> what kind of an egomaniac, uh, knuckle-dragger would bring his, uh, mother on a, a radio talk show? I mean, but anyway, let me ask you, let me ask you a question here. Um, yeah. I honestly believe that, uh, Children who grow up um, and, and get uh, conservative views, uh, really, uh, that their parents have been rather mean to them, and then they, and that's their psychological way of uh, of taking it out on uh, the rest of society, and that's why they're conservative. In other um, words, meanness. Yeah. In other words, meanness translates. Is when, did this stop? when did uh, when did uh, he first start showing uh, signs of being uh, conservative? Oh, that's a good question, actually, from a moron. Um, I, I really think he could answer that better. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen as much of him since he's been grown up as I would like right. to. This is actually a reunion of what, uh, oh, about 10 or well, 12 yeah, years, something right. like that? And I'm going to meet my grandson tomorrow for the first, I haven't seen him since he was just probably about four years old. So, there you are. When did I begin to show signs of being conservative? Um, well, most of my adult life, really. Um, always been that way. Uh, Are you the Charlie from the book? No, he's he's got yeah, he is the Charlie from the book, right? I'm checking my knuckles now, and there's no blood there, so they, they can't have been dragging too much. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Yes, well, hello, Mama. Hello. I think you are the Bell of the Southwest tonight, aren't you? Thank you. Yeah, well, that's a very nice way to describe me. All I know is I'm having a wonderful time. And you are a survivor in the first degree. We know that because you raised art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, we love him to pieces, and uh, I think he's just marvelous. And between you and God, you did good, honey. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you. Bye-bye. Take care. Um, my mom was a Marine. A Marine. One of the first Marine drill instructors. Now, let's ask a little bit about that, because people are going to be curious about that. Um, you really were one of the first, weren't you? Mm -hmm. uh, what made what in the world possessed you? Uh, I mean, I, I remember my time at Lackland Air Force Base, right? I remember my drill instructor, meanest SOB that I ever ran across in my life. Were you mean like that? To, yeah. to, you know, to the ladies that you were training? No, not really. Um, I think the reason I became a drill instructor was because I, I had 
I had a lot to say. I taught dancing when I was younger, and I loved the cadence of it. And, uh, marching? The marching, right. And uh, I brought one platoon after another through their boot camp. And I really, I look back on those years as very pleasant. There was one gal who um, sent me a fax last night, and she took her training at Hunter College in New York, too, where I did. And she went to Cherry Point, and I went to uh, the River, North Carolina, Camp Lejeune. And, uh, My birthplace. Yes, where, where Trey was born. And uh, those years were very interesting, I thought, and very happy years. But still, you had to be, um, in basic training, there are certain things that are done that kind of test the person. So you couldn't have been a pure sweetheart. Well, I'm speaking for myself. I don't know what the platoon, the gals in the platoon were. Ah, perspective, huh? <laughs> yeah, perspective, that's right. In other words, my drill sergeant may remember us all fondly, too, but believe me, many of us remember him as about the meanest man walked the face of the earth. And he shouldn't turn his back, right? Uh, <laughs> first time caller line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hello. Yeah, hey, Ma Bell, how you doing? Fine, fine. Listen, um, I... I got the mom. My mom's got the same last name as you. And uh, I was just curious with all the traveling that Art does. Um, I'm I'm surprised that you you haven't been a, you guys haven't connected. You know, haven't seen each other in such a long time. Uh, do you have an explanation for that? Well, he lived a gypsy life for a long time. He he was uh, going from one radio job to another, uh, climbing the ladder to where he is right now, and. Uh, I always lived on the East Coast in a climate that he detests. So our pants just didn't cross. I was busy, and he was busy. And it, it is true. I, I, she's right. I led a very gypsy-like existence. It is the nature of those who are in radio. And I, she's right. I detest the, uh, the Northeast. As a matter of fact, since she's been out here, you know, it went up to 60 today, and the sun was shining. And I said, you know what? I should sell that place back there and move out here. And uh, she's still clinging to Long Island, where the snow's probably piling up to about uh, hip deep by now. And where the real estate market is so limp that I couldn't sell my house if I wanted to, so... <laughs> she says, all right. Well, west of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hi. Hi, Art. This is Mark, the Seattle astronomer. I called you a couple nights ago. I sent you a fax. I hope you get it. I've been having a hard time getting information to you. All right, Mark. But I'd like to say that your mother is a pure delight, and I wanted to know if she had thought about getting her own radio program. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> no, I'll let Trey take care of that. But you know something? This is the most exciting night with this uh, Vivian, is it? The Vivian, yes. I, I turned off the screen because oh. it, it's simply too distracting. Uh, television, uh, but maybe not for you because uh, you're, you're doing this anyway. But for me... I find it really distracting, and I'm not going to be able to have the screen on when I do this. I can see that now. Well, you'll, you'll get used to that after a while. You told me that it wouldn't be any problem for me to be on. I, I told you I was very stage struck. But um, you'll feel the same way after that. This is a remarkable technology. Oh, fascinating. I'm going to have to remember not to pick my nose or scratch. <laughs> <laughs> First time caller line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hi. Hi, how you doing there, Art? All right. I don't think I'd ever get through to you. This is Bob in Tacoma. Hi, Bob. Oh, how you doing? All hey, right. uh, I like it. I got a couple of questions for Ma Bell there. All right. Uh, how many times, uh, Ma Bell, did you uh, think that you have ever had to whack Art on his uh, yeah. his old perump when you got out of hand there? <laughs> <laughs> well, he got too big for me after a while, I mean, or to, and he was fast on his feet. Um, uh, yeah, he had, his right, he had his running shoes on, right? Right, right. <laughs> uh, uh, there were a few times, sir, to answer your question. Uh, do, do you think it, uh, it looks like perhaps the uh, coming of the Lord draw up night, Mobile? But, I, I'm sorry, I didn't... Do you, do you think it's the uh, coming of the Lord drawing near with all these things, these things going on? Uh, I don't, I good don't good question. In other words, uh, and I, I can't answer it. Uh, no. we, we all feel that something is happening. I, I, I agree, agree right? and I don't know what it is. It could be what you say. Coming of the Lord? Who knows? Coming of a, just a change? Coming of something. Though. Yes, something big and, and scary, yeah. frightening. You know, like that big creature, what's his name, Sasquatch? Yeah, Sasquatch. You've heard my Sasquatch, right? 
You can't take your head on radio. Oh, he, he makes the sound that he makes? No, I don't make the sound. I have Sasquatch on tape. Oh, the real Sasquatch? Yeah. For heaven's sake. Haven't you ever heard that? Well, I've heard... I don't know whether I have or not. You oh, know, my on. reception at home is not from Rochester. Really? I, I don't know. Let me see now. Listen. Oh, no, this is, this is not the one. This is one of them. Uh, that's one, but that's that's not really the one I want you to hear. I'll I'll do the other one here in a minute. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Hi, uh, Miss Ma. Uh, what do you think of your son staying up all night? <laughs> well, since since he's been on the air uh, all night, I've been staying up too. <laughs> so, um, as a matter of fact, coming out here, you've assumed my schedule. Yes, tonight, I, huh? I have. It's a, a a strange way of living, but very interesting. I like the night hours. First time caller line, you're on the air with Ma Bell. Oh, right. You know, this is the first time I've ever tried. This is Ken from Minneapolis, TNCP 1500. Where it's very, very cold. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is the coldest I've ever remembered in my 32 years. But anyway, the main question I had to ask was, no matter how many women you ever have, who is your number one gal in your life? Would it be mom? That's well, not a fair question. No, that is not a fair question. His wife, I haven't even spoken about his wife, Mona, but, and I, I met her for the first time when I came out here. She is his partner. She's the power behind the throne. She keeps things going smoothly for him. She sure does. She's a wonderful cook. I mean, really.